Hey, hey, Z Droppers, welcome back. With this speedy tutorial, we're showing you our new feature, how to keep track of your orders through our dashboard and our Z Drop extension. This is a fairly new feature that we are perfecting daily with user requests and comments, so feel free to give us any feedback on the orders feature. We will start by heading over to our extension first as we want to make sure that we have downloaded our Chrome extension if we are new ZDrop users. And then next we want to make sure that we have signed up just to be able to find the extension for future use. It's good practice to go ahead and pin the extension on the top of our Chrome browser. The orders can also be viewed by going to your dashboard at zdrop.com and clicking login. And this is our dashboard here. Here we are. We're now in the extension and we will click orders. From here you'll click full order report. Something to note here is that this feature will only sync with your current orders on your marketplace if you have used the copy address by ZDrop button. By clicking on the full order report, this will expand the current orders. You want to give ZDrop about 30 seconds or so to load up your orders. From here, we will have different options as far as our order and tracking is concerned. First, we will run through the layout of the order report. On the left, we have the customer's name. Following the customer's name, we have the product title and an image. These images you can also click on and they will take you directly to the supplier. If a photo does not carry over, you should still be able to click on the space where the photo should be and we're working on that. Next, we have the order number generated through Facebook Marketplace at the point of sale. It is good to note that this feature is not tied in yet with your supplier orders. It may be possible that we eventually may be able to enter that information into our software, but at this time we're not currently offering total synchronization. As you can see, it brought me right to the orders. Moving on here to the right of the order number, we have status, where you can use a drop down menu to update status of tracking. Next, the customer's address. Now we have a couple of columns for calculation purposes. These columns include left to right price. This will be the price that your supplier sells you the product for. We have subtotal, selling cost on Facebook Marketplace. Then we have the sales tax, which will be any tax associated with the transaction on Facebook Marketplace. After that, the Facebook Marketplace seller fee then shipping, with the last calculated column being profit. Then we have the date of the order and add tracking column. This is a free text field where you can go ahead and enter in your tracking number. The very last column is the note column and this is where we can leave any comments about the order. For example, if you have a return going on or a refund or if you've used the dashboard for a tracking number. You can enter those notes in here. Now we will move on to the particulars of the order feature. If we click up here in the left hand corner and choose select all, we will see the overall profit calculated here on the profit column. Next to profit we can see how many orders we have. At the top we have the option to search our order report by using keyword or full title. We can also use the first and last name of our customer, the Facebook Marketplace order number, or the dates. Now for the fun part. We do have editable columns. Just in case something doesn't quite calculate correctly or you notice that something is off, we have the option to edit the sales tax, any shipping costs, any Facebook Marketplace fees, and supplier taxes. On the top left here, we have the option to export to Excel your full order report. One of the main reasons why this clickable order number for your Facebook Marketplace is such a neat feature is because Facebook does not currently offer any type of simple search for orders. They actually make it quite difficult to find previous orders, and I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. So having this direct link to your order is imperative. Okay, we'll head over to the extension now and we'll click on orders. 
Just as a brief overview of the extension with the orders feature, here is the export to Excel button again. And this is where you will click on the full order report to expand your order report for full view as we did in the beginning. You can also make those notes here through the extension. Again, we just wanna mention this feature only works if you are using the copy feature button on the order level that pops when you receive an order on Facebook Marketplace. Well, thanks for your time and happy dropping. Subscribe for more updates and videos from ZDrop. Join the ZDrop Facebook group and contact ZDrop at ZDropTool at gmail.com for questions, comments, or concerns.